Hello. Welcome to the Master Shah Dao Calligraphy Healing Show. This is a show that we air every Monday uh, this time, and it's a wonderful opportunity to learn a little bit about Dr. and Master Shah and the amazing power of Dao calligraphy to heal and improve all aspects of life. Welcome everyone. It's my honor to be with you in Master Shah Dao Calligraphy Healing Field in Vancouver, British Columbia. So my apologies, we started a video, but it's not the right video. Um, we don't need you to see the uh, Dao Calligraphy Healing Field um, Facebook program, although we want to invite you to see that every week, to join every week, because it's an amazing teaching that Master Shah offers. But instead, I want to welcome you to our Tao Calligraphy Healing Field um, demo and uh, healing practice. So tonight, I'm actually going to have a special guest who's going to join us. Um, he will be a, a, a demo, but they have an amazing, amazing story um, to share with you. So before we do that, um, I want to share um, some information with you about the Dow Calligraphy Healing Field. Um, I want to know, uh, if you can, I'd like to interact with you this evening. So I want to invite you to log in to live stream so that we can interact. I want to know your name. <laughs> you know my name, it's Jimena. I am the center leader for Master Shah Dao Center in Vancouver. And, um, but I want to know your name. I want to know where you're from. And what brought you here tonight? What brought you to our evening program? And um, I'm going to go through um, a PowerPoint uh, presentation, show you some slides to explain to you the Tao Calligraphy Healing Field. You know, this past weekend, so first let me tell you a little bit about myself. I have been uh, studying with Master Shah since October of 2001. So my anniversary is coming up, less than 60 days. And we, um, I've watched Master Shah go from a powerful Qigong master who was honored at the Fifth World Qigong Congress with the appointment as the uh, World Qigong leader, World Qigong master rather, World Qigong master in the category of spirituality. And that was in 2002. His book, the first of over 25 books that he has published, he has more, more books um, but the 25 that have been published um, that are, um, uh, that have been actually bestsellers, some 11 of which have been New York Times bestsellers. So his first book, um, Power Healing, was released through um, Harper, um, I think it was called Harper Collins, one of the big publishers in New York. Um, and in San Francisco. And that book was released in 2001, and it became a global, became a global bestseller. It was on the Economist bestseller list. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So Master Shah is, of course, trained in traditional Chinese medicine. He's also a Western medical doctor, but his training in the martial arts and in the Eastern arts began at the age of six when he began to study Tai Chi, I Ching, and he has since um, mastered, uh, sort, uh, mastered um, the I Ching and, and uh, Feng Shui. And now in 2012, he created Tao Calligraphy. 
So Master Xiao was recognized in China as being very gifted as a healer. And they were going to uh, give Master Sha, they were sent him to the Philippines to receive his master's degree in hospital administration because the government was going to have Master Sha serve um, in charge of a hospital. They wanted to give him back then uh, hospitals for uh, uh, he helping to heal deafness and people with strokes because he has a very particular, very unique style of acupuncture that enabled him to help people regain their hearing, open their hand, release their arm. You know, when you have stroke, everything tightens and closes, yeah? So Master Shah um, was in the Philippines. He left the Philippines and actually emigrated to Canada. And in Canada, he was recognized um, as, as, a, as an incredible, powerful healer. He served the uh, president of the Stroke Association because he'd had a stroke. And it, was, it had been more than six months. And what I've learned from Master Shah is that if, if you've had a stroke for more than six months, it's very, very hard to, re to reopen the hand and to regain mobility. But he helped him. He helped the uh, president of the Stroke um, Association. So Master Shah was able to um, um, move to Canada. He was in Vancouver, then he was in Toronto. And occasionally he was traveling to Phoenix, Arizona. And then he began to travel to um, Canada, uh, sorry, to California. So in California, Master Sean met John Gray. Long story short, John had his own health challenges, but he was, he, he'd embarked on his own journey to learn healing from indig indigenous healers. And he'd been searching for Master Shah. And every place he went, they would say, you need Jigang Shah, you need Jigang Shah. Lo and behold, one year, 2000, um, in 2001, I think it was 2000, he um, opened the directory for the New Living Expo, which was huge. It was 18,000 18, to 21,000 people used to attend the New Living Expo. And there was Master Shah. He had a, a booth and he was doing a presentation. And John Gray made his way to the booth made his way to the front row of Master Shah's presentation. And, um, you know, they collaborated on, uh, on a number of different things, including working with people who had stage four cancer. So Master Shah is very brave, hardly knew the language. And here when John Gray said, who do you want to work with? He said stage four cancer, because that's who his teacher worked with. And if his teacher was able to help people with, with stage four cancer, Master Shah was going to do the same because his teacher had asked him to bring his techniques to the West. And he did that. He brought them to the West. And people were healing. The doctors, the oncologists, started to invite Master Shah to their presentations or, or to do a presentation. And at the time, integrative medicine was just, the idea was just beginning to take hold. And so Master Shah would go, and he did, I think, four presentations at hospitals. And um, they were fascinated by what he was teaching. And people were healing. People who had been told that there was nothing that Western medicine could do, that they needed to put their affairs in order because they had maybe four to six months. And if you go to Shah Research, you will find that, in fact, there, is a, there are a couple of studies from that period um, that are published by Shah Research. So let's begin with the PowerPoint. Um, so Master Shah, let me bring you up to date. So I, meet, I met Master Shah in 2001. In 2003, he became a divine channel. Heaven, the divine, came to him and said, um, if, he, if, they would, uh, if he would allow God to do the healings through him. He could no longer do Qigong. He could no longer do acupuncture. He could no longer do Western medicine or TCM. 
and he agreed on the spot. What's extraordinary is that at that time, his annual revenue was a million to a million and a half. And in that moment, he said yes. And for several years, he barely made $30,000 um, a year, a year. But he did it because he believed he had been searching. He had been searching his whole life for how to help relieve people's suffering. So he said yes. So he, Master Shah has served all over the world. He's received accolades. He's been acknowledged for his humanitarian efforts. He's the founder of the Love, Peace, Harmony movement. And in 2012, he met Professor Lee, who happened to be the sole lineage holder of a form of Tao calligraphy called Ibiza, which was only taught to the last emperor and his family. It was a form of shorthand. And so they would write, they had what are called radicals that represented entire words, but there were one character that represented an entire word. And um, she kept it quiet. She learned this from the teacher of the uh, last emperor of the Qing dynasty. She kept it quiet until she met Master Shah. And in 2013, Master Shah began to offer what is called Tao calligraphy that you see behind me. So Mark, um, if possible, we're going to bring these down. Yeah. That one, sorry. Let's see. This way we're able to actually put these uh, videos up on, on uh, YouTube. So they, this calligraphy is written in one continuous stroke. This calligraphy, if I remember correctly, has something like 24. When it's written in regular uh, calligraphy, 24 different strokes. But this is one continuous stroke. If that's not powerful enough, what happened is Master Shah, he connects to the source. He's a source channel. Source, Mark, are, you, are, we, on the, are we on the PowerPoint? Yes, can we do that? Okay. So let me. Uh, yeah, what is down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just get them on the phone. So what is Dao? Dao is the source. Dao is the ultimate creator of heaven, Mother Earth, countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. So Tao is bigger than biggest, smaller than smallest. There is no time, no space, no shape, no um, image, no dimensions, no directions. You cannot touch it, you cannot feel it, you cannot smell it, you cannot taste it. But Tao exists. Where did the name Tao come from? Tao is the name given to the source by Lao Tzu, the great ancient wise man, philosopher, sage who wrote the book Tao Te Ching. It is the second most widely read book in the world because the wisdom helps you to align helps you to align with the source, to be in flow with the universe. When we can be in flow with the universe, we can flourish. Our health can flourish. Our relationships can flourish. Our finances can flourish. Humanity can flourish. So much is happening right now. You know, here in BC, it looks like we're back to normal. You can go into any store, no masks, no sanitizer, restaurants are open. Um, but in other parts, uh, in parts close to Canada, um, 
cases are on the rise, right? In some countries in, in Europe, cases are on the rise. There's economic instability, floods in Germany, Netherlands, fires, Hawaii, British Columbia, California. There's a lot of disturbances, a lot of unsettledness, yeah? So the source, um, why do we need the source? Why do we need source power? Why does Master Shah, when he writes Tao calligraphy, why does he connect to the source and put the source field into a calligraphy? Because we need that kind of pure message to replace these other messages of disturbances, these negative messages of floods, disease, economic instability, um, shaking of Mother Earth. We need the purest, most positive, highest frequency and vibration to transform negative messages, low frequency, low vibration. So when he became a divine channel and then he learned Tao calligraphy, Master Shah melded the two because the technique is a oneness technique. But the power comes from the source. So this calligraphy has a field. It has a source field that is radiating out to you and to me. And because it's the Tao, it has no, no time, <laughs> no space, no direction, no dimensions. It can go everywhere. It can reach anyone who's joining us right now by live stream. That's amazing. That is amazing. Because healers have generally been limited to being able to heal a person in front of them. Or maybe to some distance. But anywhere? Anytime? Yeah. So this is what this calligraphy has. So Mark, are you on the next slide? So the Tao calligraphy is a, is a source, a source art that carries uh, this field. So this field can transform negative messages in any aspect of life. It can transform it in your heart, your lungs, your shoulders, your liver, your kidneys, your hips, your feet. It can transform negative messages in relationships, in finances, in your house, um, in your business. If you watch the Facebook um, um, event that was done on Monday with Master Shah, he had a special guest, David Metzler. And David Metzler received this size calligraphy for his business. Every day, 10 minutes at the beginning of his day, when he gets to his office, he traces the calligraphy for 10 minutes. His business, not doubled, not tripled. I don't know what it's called when it goes from, uh, when it increases by over 100 times. Not 100%, but over 100 times. <laughs> a lot. For him, it meant that he could increase the number of um, organizations that he was uh, donating and supporting money to. He, he could, he just expanded that number dramatically. So the Tao calligraphy is a sort, carries a source field, positive messages, positive um, uh, purest messages, highest frequency vibration that can transform the information, the energy, the matter of anyone, anything, um, including your car, your house, your anything. doesn't matter. Next slide, please. Uh, we'll go to the next one. So the law of, um, so how does this work? So the Tao science, which was created by, um, um, 
quantum physicist, string theorist, Dr. Rulin Shu, and um, Master Shah, um, they, they use, they, they um, have developed what's called the universal law of Shen Qi Jing, which is the law of, it's a law of information that explains that everyone and everything is made of Shen Qi Jing. Shen Qi Jing is actually an ancient, ancient concept that says that basically um, uh, Shen is com comprised of three, composed of three aspects. There is the content of information. So in Tao science, um, soul is information, it's message. There is the, uh, so there's the content of information, there is the receiver of information, which is the heart. So the heart receives the message. The mind is the processor. So at the level of the soul, the message is invisible. Can you see it? No. Sometimes people with third eye can see it. In the heart, sometimes someone with a third eye can see it, but the physical eye cannot see it. Comes into the mind. The mind is the processor. It accepts the message and then begins. It's, so the mind is the, the processor, begins the process of converting it into physical form, into, into manifesting that message. So it sends a message to the energy to adjust the energy to adjust the frequency and vibration to match the desired outcome. So if it's a message of healing, it raises the frequency and vibration. If it's a message of, if it's a negative message, it drops the frequency and vibration and it, it tells, it guides the matter so that the matter adjusts and produces either a healthy heart, liver, lungs, kidneys, or it creates a condition, either a temporary condition like a bruise or a more challenging condition like bronchitis or COPD. Bronchitis, people can heal. COPD, um, people are, cannot heal. It's a chronic condition. So what can transform that chronic condition. That's what Master Shah has been searching for, a way to help people with chronic conditions, a way to help people with life-threatening conditions. And the Tao calligraphy that creates a Tao calligraphy field that carries source frequency and vibration can change the message in that entire pathway, that is an information pathway, what you are seeing on the screen. It can change the message at the top, at the soul level, at the heart level, at the mind level, at the energy, and at the matter level. Soul leads the heart. Heart leads the mind. Mind leads the energy. Energy leads the matter. So positive messages create healing, create transformation, create flourishing in every aspect of life. Negative information creates challenges, creates sickness, creates dis, um, disharmony in relationship, creates financial challenges, creates um, business challenges, creates natural disasters, creates um, human disasters. What's a human disaster? A human created disaster. Refugee camps where people are forced to leave their countries. Starvation. So, um, So this field enables us, um, in this field, we are able to receive source Shen Qi Jing. So we can do this through meditation. We can do this through tracing the calligraphy. 
we can do this by receiving what's called a golden light ball, which is a permanent golden um, ball that has a source field. And it comes into our heart, comes into our lungs, it comes into our kidneys, and comes into our liver. So what I want to do is I want to connect. We have somebody who has um, a challenging condition. So um, um, can uh, you guys arrange for them, for Medi to call me on my phone? Hello, Mehdi. I, I have you on the phone. Uh, there's some technical issues. So you need to uh, mute yourself. Can you, can, can you mute your, can you mute your, your laptop? Yeah. Because there's, there's feedback. There's an echo. My laptop is muted. Okay, good. All right. So um, uh, can you uh, explain, can you or George explain, and I'll put the phone up to the mic. Can you and George explain uh, what occurred last year? Mehdi, um, your phone, you need to mute your laptop. Is that better? Can you mute your laptop, yes? Yeah, so how come we have an echo? Or we had it? I think it's better now, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, oh, Dad. Oh, okay, so are you able to explain what happened last year with George? You or George, can you explain? Do you want me to explain how you started your, your condition from yeah, the, yes. you want to do it or you want me to do it? Uh, you can do it. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, it started uh, August 29 of last year when George um, went for open heart surgery to replace the mitral bulb and um, uh, repair the tricuspic bulb. And um, George agreed to have it done because first it's needed and also uh, Hoping to, um, hoping to uh, get better, you know, feel better because he was very sick. Yes. And, uh, so, Mary, can we? Can you describe? So, George, so the mitral valve and the other valve are in the heart, and uh, so yeah. just to give a little bit of background about like the quality of life that George had at that time. You know, he had some physical challenges. He was limited in, in many ways. Can you just describe what was happening for him? Well, for many years, his uh, mitral bulb was leaking and the tricuspid bulb ended up leaking as well. Um, early in the year of uh, 2020, he, he was just beginning to physically and mentally uh, unwell. Um, then, um, when, uh, it, it's time, uh, then he found a surgeon and then, uh, because of the pandemic, then it's, uh, the surgery was delayed, but for that five months delayed, George became very, very sick. He was retaining so much fluid. He was on so many medication that's not helping him. And, um. It was not. It was not alive at all. And uh, the day August twenty nine had surgery. Uh, 
did not go that well as expected and uh, her had a heart failure, multi-organ failure. And um, it, it, it's up to now. We are grateful for Master Chess teaching and of course Master Jimena, Master Marganis and everyone, Master Sarah and Master Cynthia for uh, blessing us and um, you know life is still a challenge but to be at home together is is very very grateful we're very grateful yes george hi i like to yeah, yeah. yeah hi hi uh, 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 yeah we were uh, enjoying that uh, scenario here and uh, I take over the, uh, because Mary becoming too emotional. So, I was not. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, you're not. Okay. I was. I was. Okay, scared. then I pass the phone over to you. <laughs> no, okay. no, you, 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 you say Thanks. what you want to say. Okay. It's okay. Well, thank, thank you for letting me know. <laughs> because sometimes when we relate the story, what is taking place related to our people. She start crying. Oh. I know almost coming. So I used to take a uh, Kleenex, stuff in my pocket. <laughs> it comes handy. If she doesn't use it, uh, I use it. <laughs> so, well, uh, and almost always she asks for a Kleenex. Oh, uh, well. But not today. They yeah. say that when she met, see, going back to the old days, we've been married almost how many years now? Three, three years. No, not, not quite. Twenty. I forgot. I forgot, <laughs> forgot to count. Twenty-eight years. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, yeah, we had a good time together. And uh, my wife's hardworking person. Uh, it's a uh, the word I use for her is a tireless worker. Yeah. Right yeah. now, to tell you the truth truth of the matter. If not for her here, I'll be, I'll be long gone. I'll be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Presence. Let me share. Uh, to you. Yeah. Let me share a little what? bit about your story. Can I share a little bit about what I, what I experienced since, la since last year? So, um, yes. so George received, you know, some, um, golden light ball, um, the Dow golden light balls, golden liquid spring treasures. And, um, um, when you receive these treasures, you need to trace. So because he was quite sick, and he, actually he was sleeping, sitting up. That's how, that's how much he was retaining fluid. And he could only sleep for short periods of time, yeah? Couldn't, yes. couldn't really eat very much because there's so much fluid retention um, yes. and, in, the, um, in the upper part of the body. So, but Mehdi would get up at four o'clock in the morning and she would trace for him for three hours before going to work every single day. He was in the hospital recovering. How many months were you in the hospital recovering? Uh, from, uh, from August and they let me out in January, January 1st. Okay, so six months, six months, yeah. yeah. They celebrated their anniversary there uh, at the hospital. Oh. Yeah, I remember that. So, um, so her love. This is this is this is a healing story, but I'll tell you, it's a love story, and you can hear it, and how they talk about each other. So, George, I understand that you're um, there's still some issues. You there's still one of the one of the valves is still leaking. See, I, I have a uh, uh, yeah, a leaking valve. Yeah, so, I'd say it was a what they replaced was a, a, a triple bypass. No, so, no, 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 you didn't have. I'll let you speak to Mary. No, uh, Master Mena, the tricuspic bulb actually, there's some good news. Um, from the echocardiogram in uh, in February and the one in, on, in June, there, uh, there is a, a a change which is it's leaking still but it's less ah yes okay 
Okay. So that that's a, that's a blessing. It's less leaking now, but oh. the, the the mitral bulb is working very good. So the mitral valve is working very well, but it's the tri tricuspid valve that's still leaking a little bit. And then you have some yeah. and then you have some kidney issues, right? Yeah, his kidney failed and is considered chronic and uh, oh, like but uh, but uh, when when they uh, told me in the renal unit that it's chronic and uh, there's no cure and, and somehow I said you know, never say never. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And, and the social worker look at me like, is this woman crazy? And I said, you know what, we'll, we'll take what tomorrow brings, but you, you just, you just never say you will never heal. Right. Because as they told me before, six months ago, George can go anytime, but you know, we're grateful he is still with us. Yeah. He's, he's still recovering, but, you know, okay. he's here. Yeah, he's <laughs> here. Good. All right, so let me ask the team. I don't know. Um, Mark, how are we doing with Zoom? I, I lost the contact. I cannot log in again. Yeah, that's okay, Maddie. You, you don't have to change anything. No, they're not on Zoom, but our Zoom is good. Okay, the Zoom is good. All right. So, um, um, uh, so I need someone, uh, someone to do a, a reading. Let me, let me just do it. Actually, I'll do it. My, I do it myself, since I, I, at this point, I'm, I'm a little bit on the blind side here. I can't. I'm not. I, I, I didn't connect in. Okay. So close your eyes. Let me check for you. Um, I want to offer you. So we'll do basically a little mini uh, personal consultation with you here on the phone. Okay. Uh, okay. you're, you're on the phone because you, somehow we lost you on Zoom, but that's okay because I have you on my phone, so okay. no okay. problem. You get the blessings whether you're connected by phone, by Zoom, or, or not connected electronically at all. So close your eyes and let me check for you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to transmit for you um, a golden light ball. Let me see if I can hold the phone and write at the same time. So I'm going to transmit to you a Dow, some go Dow golden light ball and golden liquid spring and in your case you need one for the heart the whole heart you need one for the tri tricuspid I hope this is how you spell it tricuspid valve Yeah, you need one for the kidneys. And we'll give you the chi channel, okay? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And then we'll con we'll, we'll stay connected cuz you're you're in the morning. So the other thing for people to know and I'm going to talk about this in a minute. So these golden light balls have the source Shen Chi Jing they will get transmitted into his heart, directly into the valve, the tricuspid valve, into the kidneys, and then the chi channel is the most important energy uh, channel in the body. So it'll help, it's the healing. It's actually the chi channel is the healing channel. It goes up the seven soul houses, the seven chakras, and then it goes down in, in the back in front of the spinal column in a space called the Waijiao, which was um, discovered by Master Sha's teacher, Master Guo. So this, these treasures, these are called treasures, 
are uh, activated. So George is joining us every morning. We do a one hour practice in the Tao Calligraphy Healing Field. And that practice session, we turn on all our treasures, we chant, we chant for the Chi channel, we chant for the different organs, different um, elements in the body, the five elements to, to heal because we need to um, practice for a, for a sustained period of time in order to help the body to raise the frequency, raise the vibration, change the messages. The, the longer we can keep it in a high frequency field, the more messages we can transform. The more messages we can transform, the more quickly um, transformation can occur. So already he mentioned the mitral valve is working re really, really well. He's been joining the practice sessions, so I heard the tricuspid valve is doing better, but we can help that. Kidneys now is a chronic condition. We can see what we can do. So let's see. So, so why do I mention the practice? So all of you join. You need to practice. So George needs to practice two to three hours because he has a very serious condition. So he needs to um, raise the frequency of his body and sustain it for two to three hours to help the body really heal. All right, so Tao order, Tao order. Um, it's okay, I've got a, I've got a Fachi here. Uh, we'll put it on camera. So Tao order, Tao Chang, Tao calligraphy, healing field. Transmit. Can you tra can you mute the line? Can you mute the the, the laptop? Transmit thou golden light ball, golden liquid spring for the heart, the heart's back here, to George at the most appropriate level layer dimension. Transmission. Thou order, thou chung, thou calligraphy healing field. Transmit thou golden light ball and golden liquid spring for the tricuspid valve to George at the most appropriate level layer dimension. Transmission begins now. Dao order, Dao Chung, Dao calligraphy healing field. Transmit Dao golden light ball, golden liquid spring for kidneys at the most appropriate level layer dimension to George. Transmission begins now. Dao order, Dao Chung, Dao calligraphy healing field. Transmit Dao golden light ball, golden liquid spring for the Chi channel at a higher level, most appropriate for George. Transmission begins now. All treasures join as one. So everybody chant. We chant for him and we're gonna trace, let me see if I can move this. It's on a carpet. Okay. So we're going to trace this uh, calligraphy for him. And you just put your five fingers together and just trace. Follow the pattern of the calligraphy. We trace for George who benefits. You benefit. Why? Because this frequency is coming into you. It's going to George, but it's also coming into you. And we're going to chant Dao Golden Light Ball. Dao golden light ball, Dao golden liquid spring, Dao golden light ball, Dao golden liquid spring, Dao golden light ball, Dao golden liquid spring, Dao golden light ball, Dao golden liquid spring. Dao golden light ball, Dao golden liquid spring, Dao <coughs> golden light ball, Dao golden liquid spring, Dao golden light ball, Dao golden liquid spring, Dao golden light ball. Dao golden liquid spring, 
Thou golden light fall, thou golden liquid spring, thou golden light fall, thou golden liquid spring, thou golden light fall, thou golden liquid spring, thou golden light fall. 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 Thou golden liquid spring. So George, you are so lucky. I just realized I can give you a blessing with the... Um, It's a, it's a sonic wave, the ultimate divine sonic wave for your kidneys. See if we can help your kidneys, yeah? Yes. Okay, so close your eyes. Silent blessing with this very powerful. And then I'm going to ask, you know, Monique, um, Sarah, and Mark, because they have very powerful third eye. Each of them is going to do a reading for you. So just close your eyes, and I'm going to do the... Uh, blessing with for the um, for the wave. Blessing begins now. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's do some readings. So Sarah, do you want to do a reading for, so Sarah Baker is one of the master teachers at the Dow Calligraphy Healing Field Master uh, Center, um, Master Shah Dow Calligraphy Healing Field in Vancouver. So she has a very powerful third eye. So Sarah, do you want to do a reading for the heart and the tricuspid valve? So, she has a very powerful third eye. So, Sarah, do you want to do a reading for the heart and the tricuspid 
well. Thank you very much, uh, Jimena. Um, yes, these uh, blessings, um, well, they're in and of themselves. But what I saw for George, um, for all the organs, uh, and I'm looking now at the art and the uh, heart and the tricuspid uh, valve, this applied to all of the organs though. And that was that because of the trust and the love Thank you very much, uh, Jimena. that um, so yeah. Sarah, I think you have a, I think you have uh, something in the background that you need to mute. You need to mute yourself. There's a, there's a. Okay. I've, I, yes. Is that better? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, that because of the, the, the trust um, in the divine, the Tao, in the Tao calligraphy field and all the blessings that George and Medi have shown throughout this very significant uh, journey that they've been through with George's health is that heaven transmitted an extremely high level of blessing in this golden light ball and golden liquid spring. And I saw that the heart immediately was, you know, expanded and, and that the, the, the light was radiating um, out, you know, well beyond his body, well, well beyond his body, creating uh, this field around his entire body um, that the heart each time that he is that the heart is beating and um, circulating the blood system that it's going to be bringing this powerful light golden light and golden liquid spring through the body and and what this blessing was doing um, for the heart and for the kidney both was that it was bringing um, so much um, nourishment so much uh, like the golden light, the golden liquid spring was bringing so much moisture. Okay, so I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going to do the third eye readings and the, and the flow. Okay, so I'm going to do the third eye readings and the flows. Um, Okay. This is rejuvenating this. So maybe we just take take her off. Is that possible? She's off. Okay. Okay, so um, so Monique, are you able? <coughs> can Monique go on? Okay, Monique, can you do a reading for the? Can you do a reading for um, the kidneys? Yes, thank you. How? This is thou the soul. Beloved George, what you have received today with those sonic waves is beyond expectations and beyond imagination as the wave, the sonic wave was scanning over your kidneys. Invisible, tiniest holes were being sealed and the skin and the, cover, the texture of your kidneys have been changed. Inside the kidney, a new energy, vitality, has been gained, allowing the kidneys to do their function, propelling and filtering the blood and conducting much more energy around the kidneys as well. What you have gained, beloved George, with this sonic wave blessing is the ability of your kidneys to have a better relationship with the heart, 
heart and kidneys are a pair. They are filtering and pumping the blood. If one is too weak, it affects the other. Now with this new sonic wave, a new bit vitality is gained in your kidneys that will act as propelling and moving up the energy all the way, clearing more blockages on its way and allowing energy to move through the body and around. This new relationship in your heart is much higher and healthier. What it has done also is to seal also with the sonic wave what was deficient in your valve, sealing the leaky valve. This blessing, beloved George, is beyond imagination. It will prolong your life immensely and the quality of your life will be much better as a new vitality and energetic level, you will experience trace, 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 continue your practices. You are very loved and blessed. How? 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 Okay. So let me find out how George is doing. Yeah? I think Mark is busy. Okay. So George. Yes. How did you feel? How did you feel as you received the golden light ball for the heart? How did you feel uh, then with the wave at the end for the kidneys? You want to share? Yes. Okay. Uh, like, How do you feel? Very, very, very delightful, delightful, and uh, happy to be with the uh, delighted people that they love so much what they're doing and uh, they're willing to help as a human, human beings. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to, to get to know. Yeah. Uh, so did everybody. you, did you experience anything physically? Not, not everybody does, but maybe. Physically, you... I, I experienced a warm in my body. A warm in your body. Yeah. Yes. Warm, like I was getting ready to remove my sweater <laughs> and then, uh, that down uh, and, and, and slowly went, went away. Beautiful. So um, I want to uh, just ask to see, I see Sarah back up again. So do you want to add anything, Sarah? Is your internet stable now? Sarah, ready. Yes. Well, what I, I saw for the sonic wave was that there was like a, uh, around um, George's kidney, there was like an incrustation of uh, around the lining. So the wave was going in and kind of pulsating and um, removing these, uh, these. Uh, yeah, sorry, Sarah, you're, you're, you go, you're going in and out. So thank you. Maybe, maybe you can type it into the chat. Okay, maybe you type it into the chat. Okay, so let me um, um, uh, do a flow for you, um, for you, George, and um, I help you to understand the, I think, the significance of this. Okay, how, yes. how, how? Yes. So this how? is the source. The Tao calligraphy healing golden, uh, sorry, the Tao calligraphy golden light ball and golden liquid spring for the heart yes. has brought to you a newer and higher level field. As was explained earlier, the light is radiating well beyond the heart, not only throughout the entire upper um, part of the body, the upper chest, but radiating out. Over the next three to four days, this golden light ball will settle into the heart, giving the heart 
a higher and finer frequency and vibration, harmonizing the original heart and the new valves. The golden light ball and golden liquid spring for the tricuspid valve. is helping to um, align. There is a, there is a misalignment. Um, it looks like a little bit of a tilting. So there's a little misalignment. So it's helping to realign, reposition, and helping to bring smoother functioning in the valve. You should experience a smoother, um, um, more calm, should experience more calmness um, in the heart. For the kidneys, which are uh, quite tired and um, working very hard, the golden light ball will help you to rejuvenate uh, the kidneys. The soul healing wave, the ultimate divine soul healing wave, which is like a sonic wave, has helped to remove what appear to be sediment um, in the kidneys. There is um, more movement, more flow. The kidneys appear to be more flexible. It's as if they're able to expand and contract more easily. Um, so you'll experience um, um, more, um, more energy, more energy um, in your, um, more overall energy in the body. The Chi channel will help you to experience greater stamina and vitality as the movement through the channel, um, as the pathway in the channel has been cleared. And now there will be smoother movement of the Chi. Do your best to keep the channel flowing, gentle, be very, very gentle um, with um, yourself and with your health. Practice. Be very diligent with your practices as you experience more energy in the next few days. Focus that energy on your practice to help you to keep, to hold on to this greater um, greater uh, stamina and vitality, greater harmony, greater balance, greater alignment in the heart, in the kidneys, and throughout the entire body. You are so very loved and so very blessed. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I invite everybody who's watching, uh, I, don't, I can't tell actually at this point, um, uh, how many people are watching? But can everybody share? And um, let me see, uh, what, uh, what did you experience? What did you feel? Um, I know Mark is, I see him working back there <laughs> feverishly as we continue to, um, you know, our new AV equipment. It's, it's completely brand new. But, you know, you debug it, right? So that's what's happening. We're, deb we're debugging. Anyways, so um, what did Catherine write? Uh, this was an extraordinary healing for George. I feel so blessed to be part of the evening. Thank you. I wish him better health and long life. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, and Brianna says, I am astonished by the power of this blessing. I hope he heals and recovers to the fullest. He is blessed and so loved. 
than I owe to you. Oh, the, to the divine, to the Tao, well, then, to the source. To you, or, to you and the, uh, well, the spiritual, good Tao and Tao. Yeah. Uh, uh, for uh, being brought in, one day we'll, we'll get together, we can talk about how to, uh, I'm the one that uh, invited uh, Betty, my wife, into the spirituality, introduced her to Master Shah. Yeah. At, to the meetings. So that was actually Mark and Janice, I think, who brought, who connected you to Master Shah, and then Mark and Janice connected you to the center. So you never yeah. know. One connection, one meeting can change your life, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like a day, day and night. Yeah, like day and night. So let's see, uh, Maureen says, felt, um, so M M Brianna says, the, um, the splash of the blessing shook my apartment. I know, ah. <laughs> I know. Um, I had to sit down. Why did I have to sit down? Because I was like, the, the, it feels like the earth is moving. <laughs> feels like the ground is moving. You know, I was trying to figure out what, what, what is, what's moving. So I had to sit down. So Brianna says, I felt as if I was living in a fairy tale. We are. <laughs> we are. Okay, and Maureen says, felt lots of heat in the face and also the area of both kidneys. Thank you for the flash. Evelyn, we are so blessed. Monica Vance, congratulations, George. Brianna, Thank you for your, yes. For your yeah, Felix. Yeah, Felix says it was very generous blessing to George, very touching service, very significant to his health and soul journey. Thank you for this beautiful session. So thank you, Mehdi. Thank you, George. I'm going to hang up. Hey, Jimena. Yeah. May I share? Yes, because you are yes. third eye opened because of all the practice you were doing. Yeah. Yeah, when, when, when you were uh, the... Uh, Blessing George with the golden light bulb, golden liquid spring. I saw waves of purple colors. Wow. And my, oh, I had goosebumps. And all, when you um, were blessing George with the sonic wave for his kidneys, I saw this, actually I call it my guardian angel. A little girl with the chubby cheeks always. <laughs> wearing a light blue, baby blue uh, gown. Today she came with a crown and a bouquet of beautiful oh. flowers, <laughs> giving it to George and oh my God. And what else can I say? I, I, I don't know. I, I'm very, very grateful forever, forever to you, to Master Shah, to the Divine. To Mark and Janice, I love you all. Yeah. And to Ian and Ma Maureen, everyone. Uh, Master Cynthia, uh, I, I tell you, it, it's, it's, it's just, you know, my day started, always starts at 4 o'clock in the morning. And um, it is somehow, my day went so smoothly. And now I... I'm full of energy. I feel like I can still work another 12 hours. <laughs> and, and as George said, I'm, I'm, I'm so energetic. And oh, oh, this is such a blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you both. Thank you for uh, your trust in all of us. Thank you for being here. Love you very much. We will connect with you tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, in the practice sessions. Bye-bye, every. Bye-bye. So let me uh, close. Yeah. Love you all. Love you, too. Bye-bye. Okay. So, all right. Um, such an amazing thing, you know, to be able to help somebody, to be able to have better health, um, to have the, what you have is hope. Because when you give up, um, and it's so easy to give up. It's so easy to give up because when you've had a chronic condition and day after day you don't feel well, day after day can't sleep, can't eat, um, you know, your, your quality of life uh, gets um, 
diminishes and your life gets smaller and smaller. To be able, uh, to, be able to, to have hope, to be able to get up in the morning and to see the day as holding promise of a better day, um, that's extraordinary. That's what the field is all about because it has the purest, and I just want to repeat this over and over and over, it has the purest, most positive, highest frequency messages from the source. We are blessed to be present on Mother Earth when this is, is available to us. The rest of the world doesn't know so we have to help them. You have to help me. Help me, help me. I need so much help. It's beyond, <laughs> it's beyond comprehension at this point, quite honestly, how much help I need. So I need you to help me. Help me to get the word out that the field in Vancouver is here to serve. We serve you. And Mark can maybe put up some banners for me. When do we serve you? Well, first of all, we do personal consultations. I do personal consultations all the time. And um, I've had three chronic conditions. I work with people primarily who have chronic conditions. So in addition to the personal cons consultations to help you understand what services you need, in addition to the personal consultations, I, I personally lead Dow Calligraphy Healing Field practice sessions one hour every morning, 9 to 10, to 10 a.m. Why? Because you need to have, you need to, to be in the field for a sustained period of time, and you need someone to guide you through the practices so you know the, s the practices to do and the sequence in which to do them. You need to know how to open the body, how to move the energy through the field. And you need the love of the community in the field. Because we're human beings and we need everyone to cheer us on. We need, to, we need everyone when we're not feeling well to say, okay, I love you. Uh, can I send you blessings after the session? Can I send you down hands blessings later today? So you feel loved so that you know there is hope. So join us. We just started the month. You've only missed two sessions. Register. It's $100 Canadian. It's nothing. It's barely $5 a day to be in the field practicing with a Tao Calligraphy Healing Field Master Teacher and Healer. It's my job to help you to connect to the field so deeply that you experience transformation. We have about 35 to 40 people who join every, every month. Join us for the Tao Calligraphy Light Massage. So the practice sessions, you are actively tracing, 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 and we trace, solid, we trace. It's a solid hour of practice. Tao Light Massage, we guide you. It's a guided meditation. You're lying down, and the field comes in and blesses that part of the body that needs transformation. The honor fee is $100 for, no, it's not, um, well, I'm not actually sure. However many, however many Saturdays there are, if there's four Saturdays in August, it's $80. If there's five Saturdays, it's $100. It's $20 per session. Each session, each Tao Calligraphy Healing Field Light Massage is like a thousand times <laughs> your, uh, the, it's a, like a thousand times what you would experience doing practice on your own. So join Master Shine in the morning at 7 a.m. Pacific. Join us at 10 o'clock. Two sessions. This, I do two sessions every Saturday. You know, I hit my head it's about a month and a half ago. I dropped something in the bathroom. Hardly ever have that cabinet door open. 
Anyways, that cabinet door is open. It's a new cabinet, very heavy mirror. I came up, and where did it hit? My baihui, my baihui, the crown chakra. Oh my God, I f the pain down my back. And it kind of shot at a diagonal, kind of went er, and then across, right? So it came choom, and then this way. My God, the headaches, the neck pain, the back pain. I did three soul, uh, d three Tao light massage sessions with Master Sha. I hardly have any headaches. I can touch my head, no pain. There's a little bit of pain still in my neck. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny pain in the, like in this left shoulder blade. And my spine actually feels much better than it's felt um, in several months. It's unbelievable what happens in the Tao Light Massage. Unbelievable. So join us. Personal consultations, you can call the center. Um, and, um, and Mark, if you go to the thank you, go to the thank you. Or actually, I think there's a couple of slides, huh? Let's go through the slides. Uh, let me see if I can find this. So how can you, how can you get a uh, golden light ball? We did practice already. Um, I showed, I teach you the five powers. So you can go to, go to the information section that is in the, um, on live stream in the upper uh, right hand corner. There's an eye in a circle, click on it. There's a link to the special services and there's a whole list of services that you can receive. You can receive, just like George, a service for the heart, for the lungs, for the kidneys, for the hip, and um, um, if you want to receive, it's, it's not a sonic wave, it's a Tao so healing, it's a, sorry, ultimate divine soul healing wave that's like a sonic wave. So you can call the center, 778-379-9920, and we'll put it up in a minute, and you can make an arrangement for me to, to do that for you. Um, so there's a, a whole list of different golden light balls and golden liquid springs that you can register for. Once you register, we'll transmit those to you. Um, and, um, um, and we can uh, let you know uh, when we've transmitted it. So this is how we serve you. We are honored to serve you. We're honored to serve your loved ones. We would love um, to nothing more than to be able to help you experience the kind of transformation that you witnessed tonight. Um, with George. So please connect with us. Um, we're here. We're, we're more than happy to serve you. So I thank you on behalf of Sarah Baker, Cynthia Hamilton, Monique Chiard, Mark Saparlo, Peter Hodoba, Monica, Tai Su, Barbara Parks, Nancy Kyle, Terry Ferguson. I think I covered everybody. Did I miss anybody? So if I did, let me know. Um, Desiree, um, Desiree Lim is our newest and latest um, master teacher in uh, Vancouver. So I thank you on behalf of all of them, on behalf of all of the Tao Hands practitioners who serve here in British Columbia. It is our great honor to be here every Wednesday. Join us. Invite your friends. Um, we would love to serve all of you. And this Saturday, Peter Hodoba will be leading the Tao Light Massage he leads on the first um, Saturday of every month. Love you, love you, love you. Oh, one more thing. Save the date. So the last weekend of uh, August, much to, si much to Cynthia's chagrin. Um, so the last weekend in August, we will have a special guest, and that is Henderson Ong. So we're working out the details, but he will be... Uh, leading a workshop um, together. He and I will lead that the last um, weekend, which is August 28th and 29th. So save the date and join us. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please share in the live stream your experience tonight. Let us know what occurred for you. We'll keep the live stream on for a little bit so you can share your experiences with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye, everyone.